Today we're talking about steam shower enclosures like this display that we have right here. A steam shower enclosure usually runs floor to ceiling instead of a, a typical height which would leave uh, six plus inches above the shower for uh, steam to ventilate out of it. A steam shower enclosure uh, does the opposite. It tries to trap all the steam in the glass. Um, usually there's some sort of digital regulation to control how much steam billows, whether you want a, a dense steam or light steam. But we do offer these uh, transom options as another way to vent the steam out or trap it in to control the density. So above the door here, we have an operable transom which can swivel open and closed. We can also do fixed transoms above the door, which do trap the steam in as well, but then you can't use those to control how much steam escapes or stays in. What we've done on this display is also show another type of transom. This is a vertical transom, which we can do on the side, on the stationary panel here. Same thing, opens, closes. Some people also get these without a steam unit so that they can reach into the shower, turn on the controls without getting doused. We usually engineer a 3 16 inch gap here. Um, this display does not have the vinyl bulb seal that we would typically put on there, but we do put on a, a flexible polycarbonate um, between the transom and the door to make sure steam cannot escape through that gap. And then up here at the top, we put a hard polycarbonate L that's adhered to the top tile to give the transom something firm to strike against to make sure it's plumb, but then also to keep steam from escaping from over top of the transom.